welcome back to my channel. My name is Naomi Rook. I'm so glad you clicked on this video today. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Also, please make sure to ring the notification bell so you can be notified anytime I do upload a video. Today, what I'm going to do is a little bit of a chit chat. Get ready with me. I did this makeup using products that I have just absolutely been loving for the last couple of months. I have taken a little bit of a hiatus from YouTube. I was finishing up the summer vacation, my kids went back to school, we've been quite busy around here, so really I just needed to take a little bit of a step away from YouTube. I was finding myself uninspired, I was kind of struggling with going through the constant consuming new makeup, trying new products, and it was really quite exhausting for me. So I do go through all of that kind of in this video as I'm getting ready. It's definitely a little bit more of a dramatic makeup look, but I have been super inspired by fall. So if you'd like to see where I've been, how I've been, and kind of the products that I've been loving during this time of not needing to do new makeup or try new makeup, really being able to just to grab makeup, do my makeup, and go out the door and the things that I have been grabbing for, then go ahead and keep watching and let's get her done. Alright, I am so excited to be filming. It's been way too long since I've made a video, so I'm going to go ahead and start with my makeup. I'll talk as I'm doing my makeup, kind of where I've been, what I've been up to. I do have my eyebrows done. My eyelids are primed. I use the same products every single time if you'd like to know what those are. I'll have them linked down below. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my eyeshadow. But before that, I am going to use a little bit of moisturizer. I'm going to use products that I have just been absolutely loving the past couple months Why I haven't been on YouTube. So one pre-priming product that I would like to be using is the Revolution Pro. This is the Miracle Cream. I think this is supposed to be a dupe of the Charlotte Tilbury Mir uh, Miracle Cream. It is a very thick, emollient, very creamy product. I love using this to moisturize my skin before I prime. And kind of the first step for my makeup just to hydrate my face because I do have drier skin and now as we're going into the fall and winter I definitely have a lot more dry skin than I do during the summer. So this is a really great emollient, very thick, creamy, illuminating kind of product that just makes your skin feel super plush and very hydrated. While that is settling into my skin, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeshadow. I have been loving the Beauty Bay Earthy palette. I did purchase this quite a few months ago. I've been absolutely loving this eyeshadow palette. I've got a ton of really beautiful looks using this eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to use this today. I just want to do like the epitome of fall type makeup look. I definitely have a lot more inspiration for makeup during the fall time that I do during the summer. During the summer, I just don't wear as much makeup. So I really want to do something completely fall themed. So I figured this would be the perfect eyeshadow palette to do that. I am going to jump into some of these rounds right here and just kind of build up the crease. So I have been off of YouTube for just a little while. I think the last video I uploaded was like a month and a half ago and before that I hadn't filmed a video for a couple weeks. I pre-filmed that video because I was just kind of busy during the summer. We had our kids, we they were out of school, so we just enjoyed our summer. We kind of the last bit of our summer was just super, super busy. So then school got back in session. And I'm like, okay, as soon as school gets back in session, I'm going to start doing more YouTube. And then we've just been really busy around our house. We have had some projects we've been doing. So I've just been super, super busy. And I kind of just like allowed myself to be busy and to not try to do YouTube as well. I love doing YouTube, but I did find that I was kind of losing my inspiration a little bit. I just feel like the beauty community has gone in a different direction than what it used to be. Back when I first started watching YouTube, it was definitely a lot different. It was more about tutorials and how-tos. It has absolutely gone in the direction more of kind of fast fashion and just what's coming out and the most exciting new makeup, which I do like, but it's just not what I've been into. I've really gotten to a place where I just am really happy with the makeup I own already. Um, I found products that I absolutely love. I did zoom you in just a little bit closer. So in this video, I am going to be using products that I'm just excited about that I've used for so long. There's nothing new, but it's just the products that while I'm not filming YouTube and trying out new products, these are what I've been using. I think that says a lot because these are products that I can just go to and I know my makeup's going to look good every time. 
So next I'm gonna go into this orange squash color right here. So really kind of what brought all of this on, other than being super busy through the summer and then just having projects around the house that we've been trying to finish up, me and my fiance, I went through a little stage of buying everything. Like I was super into all the new reviews, all the new products. I wanted to test out absolutely everything, try all the new things. I was very excited. So I bought the most expensive foundation I have in my collection. It was the newer Hourglass foundation and I was so excited to try it. I've never tried a like super high-end foundation like that before. It was like $58 and I hated it. <laughs> I hated it so much. It just didn't work well with my skin. Um, it never looked good. It looked very heavy and cakey and then by the time it kind of meshed into my skin a little bit. It looked almost oily, which I have drier skin. So I was so frustrated and it was just obnoxious because everywhere on YouTube I was hearing these grave reviews of how fantastic this foundation was. Next I'm going to go into baked. So all I heard was about how fantastic the foundation was. I got it. It did not work well and honestly it upset me a little bit because I'm like wow all these people are running out and buying this foundation and talking great about it and I'm sure it probably did work for some people it just did not work for me it was so frustrating because it was like I have five dollar foundations that work way better than this fifty six dollar foundation it kind of put some stuff in perspective for me um, just that YouTube is so can be so misleading and I'm just over that. I'm really sick of kind of the fast fashion buying and needing to buy all the new things. I really just want to use products that I'm excited to use um, and not just products that are exciting because they're new, if that makes sense. Use products that are good and yes, definitely test out new things, but not test out new things just because they're the newest thing that everyone's loving. And who knows if you can really trust those reviews. Another thing I have wanting to kind of teeter a little bit more towards is makeup for a realistic makeup wear. I mean, I've had, I've been doing makeup on a few people and I've had quite a few people say, um, you know, you do so much less makeup than I would or your foundation layers are so much thinner. And um, it got me to realize like a lot of these YouTube videos are showing so much makeup and they're applying just tons of layers. Next I'm going to go in with this Hero which is like a dark green. Um, they just apply such thick layers and you really don't have to do that. So I think what I want to start doing uh, definitely once or twice a month at least upload a video of a realistic makeup application. It might not look absolutely fantastic on screen. Um, with cameras and everything and my lights it definitely washes everything out so I do things a lot heavier than I would normally do in real life but I understand how that would be really difficult for someone to follow doing makeup for real life. They're not doing makeup, you know, people, most people who watch the YouTube videos aren't doing makeup for film and they need to, you know, to learn how to do it. They're doing makeup for real life. So what I want to do is start doing a kind of real life tutorial at least once a month to show you the amount of product I would use for a real life situation instead of these under the lights filming type situations. So I really want to bring my channel back to a more realistic just the everyday makeup wear type makeup. Yes, I'm going to try out and test new makeup for sure, give you my opinions, but really want to start doing a few more tutorials. I know they're not super popular on YouTube, but I honestly don't really care what's popular on YouTube. I really want to build a community of people who are like-minded, who like the same type of ma makeup as I do, or really just want to learn the basics of makeup instead of only talking about the newest makeup there. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into my complexion. The primer I have been loving the best, I think it was the best um, release from 2022 so far is the um, e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I've absolutely been loving this so much. It is just a very unique product. It gives you the most blurred out luminous finish the perfect primer to go under any type of matte foundation because it gives you a little bit of glow but also just blurs your skin. I do have this in um, shade 4 which is medium. Yeah, shade 4 medium. It's definitely my summer shade but I have found that it can still work for me even when I'm really pale as long as I'm using like a medium to full coverage foundation on top of it. So it's a little dark as you can see but I don't need a ton. I just apply a little bit here, a little bit there. And then I like to blend this out. You can definitely use a sponge. I'm just going to use my foundation brush. 
because I feel like it kind of blends the foundation and the primer together when I'm going to apply the foundation. So I've really been loving that. So for foundation, the foundation I have been loving. I love this since I picked it up and I haven't put it down. I have five different colors. This is the Hard Candy. This is the Glamouflage Full Coverage Foundation. It's an oil-free foundation. It is kind of a matte finish, but it is a creamy, milky, kind of airbrushed matte finish. I absolutely love how this looks. It wears really nice. So I have, let's see, 1506, which is nude. And then I have 1508, which is olive. So I use more olive. It's a little bit dark, but I just apply a little bit. Really don't use too much foundation. I think that's one of the biggest things I have taken away with doing makeup for my friends is they tell me all the time that, um, you know, all the videos they're seeing on YouTube, they use tons of product, which I totally see that. I definitely want to tone it down to something that's going to look better in daylight and just like real mom life. So I apply both of them and then I'm just going to stipple this out and you just don't need a ton. You add layer after layer after layer, which is what makes makeup look really cakey. So I just like to do a very thin layer and then by the time I'm done with concealer and powder and bronzer and blush and all those things really... The coverage is where I need it to be. The foundation is super inexpensive and I just love it. It just looks good in person, up close. It doesn't look heavy or cakey, but it leaves a very beautiful matte, but it's not a heavy, cakey, drying matte. And then with this e.l.f. primer underneath, it's just absolutely stunning. I'm going in with the Tarte Ultra Creamy Concealer, one of my favorites, just an old reliable. It looks really good even with my just turned 30 under eyes. I really like this concealer. It doesn't look heavy or cakey and it just looks really nice under my eyes and it doesn't crease a ton. Just an old reliable and this is another product that I have just found. There's so many coming out and they're not that great or I already have better ones. So I'm getting to a place where like all these new makeup, I try it and it's like, oh, well that was good, but I have better in my collection already. So it's like, do I still need to continue buying more makeup if I already have things in my collection that I'm just absolutely loving? And that's where I've been like mentally in a turmoil with, I want to do YouTube. I love this. I love making videos all about consumption and buying new products, testing them out. And I'm just over that. If something is exciting to me, I will definitely pick up. But really, I just want to love what I already love and just use it in videos and show you how I'm using it. So I've talked about that a lot and I am sorry. I just want to kind of tell you where I've been mentally. I've been all over the place, just like this video, if you can't tell. But that's just how I'm feeling. I don't know. It maybe doesn't make sense. But if it does, let me know down below if you've kind of been feeling the same. I've had a few friends tell me that September and October were kind of weird months for them as well. They mentally felt a little just all over the place, a little less inspired. So maybe it's not just me. If it's not just me, let me know because that would make me feel really great that everyone kind of collectively might have been feeling a little weird in September and October. For bronzer, I have been loving the Revolution Cream Bronzer. This is such a fantastic cream bronzer. This is in light. This is the perfect neutral undertone bronzer. I really wish I could have all of my cream liquid bronzers this color. It's not super warm, but I can always add warmth. This is the perfect kind of contour bronze color for me. Honestly, I will try to match every bronzer to this color. I really love the formula as well. It is a very luminous, creamy product. It's not super pigmented, but it has the perfect amount of pigmentation. You can kind of see right there but it just blends in so well. It goes perfectly over top any foundation. And if you can see that it just is the absolute perfect tone for me. If I'm a little tanner, it's a great contour. And then right now, as I am getting lighter and more paler without being in the sunlight, it's a great bronze contour. I just really love the product. You can see in there, that I've made quite a dip because I do use this pretty much daily. It's just been my go-to and I really love how it looks on my skin and the blendability. And it's super, super inexpensive. Let's apply a tiny bit to my nose. There we go. Isn't that so beautiful? It's such a natural looking bronzer. It blends so well into the skin. There aren't harsh lines. It has a beautiful little bit amount of luminosity, so it's not super matte. 
It just looks really, really healthy on the skin. Next for blush, another reliable product. This is Patrick Ta. This is She's So LA. I love this blush so much. I use this blush on a friend. I was doing her makeup for family photos, and I'm like, gosh, that is gorgeous. So I brought it back out. But this is another product that was so loved here on YouTube. Everyone bought it. I'm glad I did buy it. But then everyone moved on from it. And so I kind of stopped using it as well. And it's so sad. And you almost forget that it's in your collection because you're always trying out the newest product coming out. So I'm actually going to um, go ahead and powder my face. I'm going to use the same products I've been using for probably almost a year now. The, the Kosas Cloud Set in Breezy. I've been loving this powder. I have not put it down really since I bought it and I was trying to buy and try new powders but I just don't want to this one's so great I don't need to um and that's something I've just been struggling with because it's like all these products in my collection that are just good and I don't need to try new ones so I'm just gonna use the ones I love the Jaclyn Cosmetics Brightening Palette I haven't used anything else really I haven't wanted to they all have huge divots I really like it I'm gonna use this light yellow um, and I'm just going to use the products that I love. I will absolutely try new ones, but I'm just going to stick with what works. Look how beautiful that is. That is stunning. I can't find another powder that looks as airbrushed, as flawless, as creaseless, and just beautiful as this one. And it doesn't make my under eyes look heavy and cakey. And I'm using a wet sponge. That's my favorite way to do it. Just apply it and then just tap it into my skin. And it just looks absolutely beautiful. And then I'm going to go in with this blush. I'm going to do the powder first. That's how he suggests you apply it. Just kind of tap it into my skin. This is such a beautiful, very wearable blush. I love how this looks. I put it away for a long time, brought it back out, and I have been using it quite a lot. So the powder itself has a bit of luminosity. And then you put the cream on top and it's just perfection. Highlighter, I've been loving the Flower Day Glow Highlighting Glaze. This is such a great highlighting product. I really love it. I warm it up with my fingers. I love this because I can put it over powder. So I've already kind of powdered right here a little bit. And then you just tap this onto your cheeks. And it gives you the most beautiful glass-like glow. I really love how it looks absolutely stunning. I don't need more glow on my cheeks really, but I will always add the extra glow. And I like to take it down over my cheekbones, over the apples on my cheeks a little bit, tiny bit on my nose. Next, I'm going to do a little powder bronzer. Give me the sun from Doll Beauty. Love this one. This is in light. This is a really good neutral light undertone. That's just not too much. Um, and then I'm just going to apply that to perimeters of my face. So other than feeling a little less inspired and kind of trying to get back into the routine of school, holidays, summer, really just everything, other than that, I've been doing good. I've just been trying to kind of find more inspiration. Um, and I think I just needed the weather to change a little bit. <laughs> so next, I want to do a little bit of a lower lash line. I think... On the bottom, I kind of want to go more of these reds. I think that would be kind of cool and add a little bit of kind of uniqueness to the look. I'm going to use a more flat brush. I'm going to go in with this brick color right here. I'm going to start right here and bring it all the way in to the middle of my eyes. That looks really pretty and definitely screams fall. And then I'm going to go in with raw right here. That's kind of a weird name. I don't really like that one. And I'm just going to leave that on the outer like third of my lid. I'm taking up a little bit more towards my kind of lashes. That's really pretty. Then I think I'm going to hop off, do my mascara, come back, and then I will do some glitter and some maybe eyeliner in the waterline. All right, mascara is done. I just used my Maybelline. This is the, the Falsy Lash Lift. I love this so much. It's just my favorite mascara ever. So next, I'm gonna do some inner corner, and this might ruin it, but I really love the whole warm tone and cool tone kind of mixed together. So I think I'm gonna go in with this frost color. I think it's light enough. We'll see, and I'm going to do it in the entire inner tear duct area kind of a little bit more dramatic I'm really feeling this look so I want to add a bit more and we'll see if it's going to be light enough 
If not, I'll add something lighter. So I'm just going to start a little bit smaller. Oh, that's, oh yeah, that's too dark. Dang it. Okay. That's okay. So we are just going to put it in there. Definitely a little too dark for kind of an inner corner. Bring it down just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to just do the other side the exact same. Okay, so that's definitely too dark. So what I'm going to do is just jump right into this matte, very light color that is fresh. That will lighten up to give me more of what I want. Yeah, see that lighten up quite a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and blend that out. Get any harsh lines. I just want to do kind of a more dramatic inner corner. I haven't really done anything like that in a while. I do like how this is turning out. And I think to bring together the cool tone and the warm tone on the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with, I think, this Cobra color right there and just apply a little bit from that metallic color in to that red color. Oh, yeah, that's cute. I like that. Then for my waterline, I'm going to go in with my color pop. This is the Yunts bright neon orange. I thought that would bring it all together. I might have ruined it with that darker inner corner, but I kind of like how it looks. It's definitely a little bit different. I might try to blend it out just a little bit with my finger. It's a little harsh. All right, so there is the eyeshadow look. I like how it turned out. I might have definitely gone a little bit overboard with the blue, but I'm just going to leave it. I think it's cute. It's a little different. So next for lips, I'm going to use another one of my favorite discoveries from 2022, the Maybelline Ink Stay Vinyls, the Vinyl Ink Stays, whatever they're called. I love them so much. These are the best formula I've ever tried for lips. Honestly, I will just buy all of these. I don't know if I would buy another regular lipstick. I love how these wear. I love that they're long lasting. They stay on forever. Right here, I have Peachy, which is a beautiful peachy nude. Cheeky is my favorite as of right now nude. They are coming out with new colors and I am so excited. I have not been more excited for a release. I have already two of those in my collection. And the one I think I'm going to wear today that's definitely going to add a little bit more drama is Witty. It's a dark, cool tone purple. I think it's just going to be beautiful. I haven't had a chance to wear this one out. I really like the applicator. It's nice little pointed. I wipe off the excess. I shake it before I open it and then I just apply it. It is a very light formula. It's not super opaque. It definitely is a little bit more on the lighter side. I really like that because I feel like it just looks more wearable. So I'm going to stop talking and go ahead and apply this. So there we go. What I love about this formula is it is glossy. It will stay glossy. It will last all day long. It does fade really, really nicely. So, so there is all of the finished makeup. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little all over the place. I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about where I've been, how I've been, and really what the direction on my channel is going to be. If you have ideas of videos that you would like to see, ones of makeup tutorials, or product, like the top products in my collection, I am gonna start the top three in my collection in every different category. I'm gonna start that here soon. I'm also gonna do the um, collection kind of videos again, where I go through each subject of my collection and show you what I have and kind of declutter as I go along. I don't think there's much I will declutter just because I haven't purchased a ton of makeup. That's another great thing about kind of taking a step away from YouTube is I did not spend a bunch of money on makeup. I really just used what I had. So I don't have a ton of makeup in my collection that I'm not loving. But if you have any ideas of videos, let me know. Thanks for watching and I will just catch you on the next one. Bye guys.